Um, you know, without having three guys that, you know, Davis, Isaiah, and, and Josh Reeves, uh, freshman had to play a lot of minutes. And that's our third game in five days. And, um, you know, they willed us to that victory. This group of guys, these eight guys that played tonight. Uh, I was really happy for Julian. You know, to get nine rebounds was, was big. He gave us a big spark off the bench. We sorely needed it. You could see our tanks were, were on empty a little bit, a couple stretches. And then they dug deep the last six minutes and really found out. You know, I found out a lot about my team. They, they dug deep. They got back to the middle of the ring. They punched back, and we took the lead. Um, Coach Marley does a really good job, runs some great sets to get uh, Braun open. We knew Braun was going to have we, you know, one of those games because he didn't have a great game against Duke. They've been here for a couple days. And we were, we were definitely keying to try to stop him, but he did a really good job. So, open up for questions. They, uh, they got it to six there at, with about a minute, minute five. Shep had to run out. What, um, what did that kind of show to you, I guess, their resolve? Yeah, the resolve, the grit. Um, it was nice to see a junior captain make a big play. And he's really been working on his defense and rebounding. Um, you know, he, he's got some shots tonight that he typically makes that are not falling. And again, three games in five days. But he just found it within himself to make a big play at a big time for us. We needed that, and that, that kind of sealed it. That kind of sealed it for us. And for him to have five rebounds is great because we're not doing a great job when we go to these smaller lineups. We obviously got in foul trouble. We were playing not zero to four. Um, you know, we got to do a better job there, but it was a big time play by a captain. Yeah, the offense is fine. You know, the offense is fine. We're just the second game in a row. We had 20 assists, which is terrific. Um, the guys are sharing the ball. And we have, uh, again, how many guys do we have in double figures? One, two, three, four guys, almost five guys with Mike at nine. I mean, it's really refreshing. It's going to be tough to guard us because um, who are you going to stop? Years past, it'd be one or two guys. Now it's, you got five or six. So that, that bodes well for our future. Um, but we need to get these guys on the same page about guarding. It's nice to see us put up those points, but we can't continue to outscore teams. So seriously, how much did this stretch get you ready for that sort of opponent? And what can this kind of game do for you as you're building and continue to build this program? I, I wanted to play these three games to prepare us for this weekend. Um, I, knowing that we're going to have a lot of freshmen on the floor, I felt important for us to get the uniform on. You know, be in, be in the arena, get the families here, and get the jitters out, all that stuff, and then really get a good look, gauge where are we exactly. And then going into this weekend, it's going to be a great test for us to see, again, where we are, where this program is, where we're headed. Are we headed in the right direction? I think we are. I think we are. And, and it's going to be great to see on Saturday how we re respond. Day off tomorrow, two good days of practice, play a number one team in the country, Last time I was at this Hall of Fame, it, we didn't uh, fare so well. So I, I look forward to this next challenge. I know these guys look forward to it. Um, but we got to continue to get better regardless of outcomes. No matter what happens on Saturday, these guys got to stick together and, and just get married to the process. Are you as ready as, as you could be, do you think? At this point, yeah. P playing three games was a really good idea. I know they don't feel that way. The guys are exhausted in the locker room right now. But I think it was a good idea to prepare us for what's going to happen on Saturday and Sunday. And do you expect to have Josh back? Sorry for all these questions. You know, I, it's okay. I, I think um, at this point, I don't know. And I wish I could give you a firm answer. I think we're having a press conference on Thursday. Yeah, so I can give you an answer on Thursday for sure. He, he was uh, um, in the underground uh, treadmill, right? Underwater, underwater treadmill, thank you, underground. <laughs> it's been a long day. It's been a long day. A lot of resistance. Yeah, but, but he's doing great in that. <laughs> so he's doing well in that. Um, so we'll see. So I was just moving him along slowly. But I'm not rushing him back. I'm not rushing him back. I'm preparing this team for the Big Ten. That's the goal here. One more.